Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Because Mama and Papa had their minds made up to go to Hollywood, Yetta and Harold gave a dinner party in the way of a farewell gathering. Mama's sole objective in going to Hollywood was to beat Mrs. Fink there. She wanted just one thing Mrs. Fink didn't have. But suddenly we learned that Mr. and Mrs. Fink were taking the morning plane for Hollywood, which means Mrs. Fink will arrive there before the blooms. We don't know exactly what Mama will do about it, so the best way to find out is to listen. Mama and Papa are at home. Jack. Uh, you called me, Mama. Yeah, what you doing? Nothing, Becky, nothing. I was just sitting here wondering what we're going to do next. <laughs> First, it was the Yellowstone Park we were going. Then it was the Hollywood. <laughs> now I'm afraid to think. <laughs> Getting so that in the mornings, I'm afraid to wake myself up. Maybe I'll find myself in Egypt. Egypt? Egypt? Hmm. Mama, Mama, don't say mm, like that. I was only fooling you. You can't go to Egypt, Mama. You can't. I know, I know, Chuck. I don't want to go to Egypt. Uh, I don't want to go any place except the Hollywood. Mommy, you mean that? Yeah, Jake, I mean it. Since the party, I'm thinking very hard and I'm coming to an incision. Mm -hmm. Some things is just going to happen. What we do about them don't make no difference. For a long time, I wanted to beat Mrs. Fink to just one little thing. Mm -hmm. But now she's going to Hollywood before I am, so we can't stop her. We don't want to stop her. <sighs> Maybe I was foolish in the first place. Foolish? No, Mama. <laughs> you see, I wanted to beat her too. Just because of more things. Yeah, so we don't worry anymore about it. They like the man who goes to our movie. He waits a long time to get our seat. He stands up in the back and watches. Yeah. And then he sees our seat and tries to get back to it. Mm -hmm. But somebody else is there first, so the man has to stand up again. Yeah. But when he does get a seat, he's enjoying the picture just the same. And we'll enjoy our trip just the same. Mrs. Fink, I know Mrs. Fink. I know, Mom, I know. But I would like just one little thing, just a very little thing, so that you or me could say to Mrs. Fink that we have got something she ain't got. Jake, stop thinking about it now. Mm. You shouldn't cry over spilling a little milk. So in two weeks we're leaving for Hollywood. In two weeks? Mm -hmm. Well, all right, Mama. But I'm still a little worried about the business with Sam not going to be there, you know. Jake, a long time ago you promised me you wouldn't worry about the business while we was away. So even before we stop to go, you're worrying already. And when it's time to go, you'll work yourself into a nervous sensation. Into a what, Mama? Never mind, you'll be nervous and aggravated. Yeah. Sidney and Harold can take care of the business, all right. They're very smart boys. You know, Mama, sometimes I think they're too smart. Someday I'm thinking they will sell themselves something they don't want to buy. In business, you don't want to be too smart. No, just smart enough. Because when you're too smart, you think you're smarter than anybody else. And then you get something put over on you. Hmm. Jake, maybe you don't want to go to Hollywood, huh? Maybe you don't want to go on that trip at all. Yes, Mom, I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, we will stop talking about the business. I will leave it strictly to Sydney and Harold. I will leave everything to them and forget all about it. You and me, Mama, <laughs> you and me, we're going to have a good time. Yes. <laughs> so help me. <laughs> like Sydney says. I will have to watch out when we get to Hollywood, or the first thing I know, you'll be in the movies. <laughs> Jake, don't talk foolish. <laughs> you know, Mama, that's what I like about you. All the time you're saying out loud, don't be foolish. But inside, you're saying to yourself, maybe. <laughs> Jake, you're talking to your best. <laughs> now, don't say anything more like that. Mm. Take the answer <laughs> sure, sure, Mama. And this time I don't have to put on my shoes because Mrs. Fink can't be in an airplane and down at the ground here at the same time. Oh, hello, Pa. I didn't expect to see you home. 
Why not? What have I got a home for if I'm not in it? You enter it. Hello, Ma. Hello, darling. Uh, is, uh, is Harold home? Why, no. He's at the office. Oh. Papa, remember you said no more talking about business. Well, all right. But just to make myself feel a little easier, I would want to know what my employees are doing just once. <laughs> when I'm at the factory, I never know. I have to have my daughters tell me. <laughs> oh, Pa, you're worrying about nothing at all. A 20-year-old business is something to worry about yet. Uh. Sit down, darling. Okay, Ma. Well, did you get over the shock all right? Shock? Shock? Why should I be getting over a shock? I mean about Mr. and Mrs. Singh taking a plane for Hollywood. Oh, well, that. We don't worry about that. <laughs> no, no. I guess there'll be enough of it to see even after Mrs. Fink is through with it. <laughs> of course. But it's too bad you had to be disappointed. Yes, but I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Uh, but tell me, Yetta, you didn't say nothing to Harold about it. About his mother, you mean? That's right. Oh, no. He doesn't know why you wanted to go to Hollywood at all. Oh, that's good, Yetta, that's good. <laughs> Mrs. Fink is a wonderful woman. The Harold, she's the most wonderful woman in the world. That's because she's his mother. So you shouldn't say anything to him about it. Okay, I won't. Yetta, mm -hmm. you left Harold at the office. Well, I didn't go to the office, but he dropped me off here on his way down, so I guess he's at the office. Mama, maybe I will change my wine just this month and go to the office. I got a few little things I have to do. Jake, don't change around like the wind. You're going to stay home so that you get used to being away from the factory. When we are in Hollywood, you can't go to the office. Yes, I'm thinking about that. Mm. Oh, um, Sydney hasn't been here, has he? Sydney? No. Why? Oh, I, uh... Well, uh, I just thought he might be. Yet, yeah, why should Sidney be here? Yet, yeah, darling, you shouldn't say things that way in front of your papa. Now he thinks there's something wrong again. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong at all. I, uh, well, I, I just thought I'd meet him here, that's all. Yes, yeah, why should he be here? Well, gee, I, uh, well, I just thought he might be, that's all. You are being funny about something, Yetta. What is it? Nothing, really, there's nothing the matter. Yetta, I'm knowing you for a long time, since you was a little baby. I can read you like a newspaper. Right now, I'm reading very fast. Look at me, darling. Oh, Ma, please. I just asked a simple, everyday question, and right off the bat, you think there's something wrong. I'm not thinking right off the bat. I'm thinking with my head. You know that today, Sidney should go to the factory. He should be there all day except for lunch hour. You know that. I know it, and Papa knows it. But you ask why he's not here. Maybe I should go to the office now, Mama? No, Papa. Uh, yes, uh, mm. Darling, don't play guessing games with your Mama and your Papa, huh? Tell us why Sydney should be here. Ma, I can't. I... Oh, Sally hasn't been here either, has she? Don't answer our question. You ask another one. What kind of a business is this? Oh, gee, I... Oh, please, don't ask me anything else. Well, I will tell you this, though. Sydney has something to tell you. And so does Sally, I guess, but... Well, I can. Papa, see if you can call up Sydney. Well, then take him away from the factory. Gee, Ma, don't do that. Sydney might be angry if he thought that I spilled the beans. Beans? Beans? I don't understand. Yet, you should have no secrets from your mom and your papa. I haven't got a secret. So you're being quiet about nothing. I'm going to call Sydney on the telephone, business or no business. <laughs> all right. Yet, that this ain't foolishness. No, it's not foolishness at all. At least I don't think so. All right, I'll show mm. you. If it ain't one thing, it's the same thing again, only different. Yet, why did you have to say anything like that? Oh, Mom, really, there's nothing to worry about, honestly. Oh, I guess I ought to be spanked for being so anxious about the whole thing, but, well, I just couldn't help it. Hello? Who is this? Oh, Harold. Harold, well, Sidney. He ain't? I... How long ago? So? I see. Yes, Yetta's here with us. But I'm thinking so that I should live longer, she should have stayed with you. Yes. What? No, she ain't told us a thing. Not a thing. That's good. What's good about it? Now, look, Harold, I... What? You're busy, a customer? Oh, all right, goodbye. I'll call you back later. What did he say, Papa? <laughs> said that Sidney left a half hour ago to get Sarah. Oh, sure. I thought he'd bring her along. We are not going to have another farewell party. Well, not exactly. Exactly. Yet our thing either is or it ain't. It can't be not exactly. The way yet to explain things, it can be anything. Sit down, Papa, please. You're walking around like a wild animal in a cage. Uh, the way I'm feeling, they should put me in a cage. It's not enough that I should have worries about the business. But I got a daughter who comes to my home, and when I'm getting used to being on a vacation, she comes to my house and plays games. Oh, yet the why do you do this to Well, me? I never saw so much excitement and worry over anyone asking a little question. All I said was, has Sidney been here? Why, well, you think I told you something terrible? <laughs> no, well, it is sure right, yet. You're laughing about it. So I guess there's nothing terrible to going to happen. Sit down, Papa. All right, Mom, all right. But until Sidney gets here, I'm a crazy man. You have to tell me, is it about business? Well, 
Maybe yes and maybe no. Maybe yes, <laughs> maybe yes and maybe no. So I got a father who says two things at once and don't make sense but either thing. Why well, doesn't Sidney get here? Papa, he can't get here any faster than he's getting here. Well, he should be getting here faster. Well, if he left a half hour ago, that should have given him time to pick up Sally and get sure, here. Sure, 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 but there is he, there he is. Right at the door. Oh, it's about time. Wait here, Mama. Jake, there's no place to go, so I'll wait here. Uh, Hello, Pa. Hello. Come in, come in, come in. We've been waiting for you. Waiting for us? Why, well, you didn't expect us, did you? Yes, we did. Sarah, darling, there's, there's nothing wrong, huh? Wrong? Why, of course not. Why should there be? Ask Yetta. Hey, you didn't spill the beans, did you, Vet? Of course not. All I said was, is Sidney here? Well, let's sit down. <laughs> sure, but will you tell us what all this funny business is about? <laughs> not anxious to hear it, are you? Sidney, don't be a <laughs> smart Isaac. If you've got something to tell us, don't beat around the bend. Do you think we ought to tell them now, Sidney? Oh, I used to keep from screaming. I have to remember I'm living in a neighborhood that is restricted. Sidney, Sarah, your papa and your mama don't want to hear anything. No, we are just falling. Well, really, it's nothing to get excited about. I'm afraid you've just worked yourselves up to a point where what we tell you might be, well, uninteresting. Sarah, anything you tell us now would be interesting. You could tell me that my name is Rebecca Bloom and I would be surprised. Because right now, I don't know if I'm coming or going or if I've already been someplace. I'm someplace where I'm going to stay. Crazy. Well, to keep peace in the family, I guess we'd better tell it. Huh, Sally? Oh, sure. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Go ahead, Sidney, please. Well, uh, uh, Sally, do you want to tell it? You can, honey. I thought you might like to. Sidney, I'm standing near something very heavy and my hand is right on it. <laughs> okay, Pa, okay. Okay, Pa, okay, Pa. Okay, pa. <laughs> well, we know how anxious you were to beat Mrs. Fink out to Hollywood. And then we knew how disappointed you were when you found out you couldn't. So... Well, we thought we'd tell you this so that you'd have something before Mr. or Mrs. Fink. Sidney, please tell them. Pa's red in the face. And so am I, like a turkey goblet. Gobbler, Mom. Your mama can be red like a sunset if she wants to be. Go ahead, Sidney. Well, here's one thing you're going to beat Mr. and Mrs. Fink to. Sidney, what is it? Grandma and Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs>